This final Missing Games retrospective will focus on December. It will cover games across the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo families. Why focus on just one month? Well, that's for me to know, and for you to just watch along. Got it? Okay, let's begin with Chorus, which is the first AAA space shooter in quite some time. Not only that, it's an open world game which was quite a surprise. Nara, the female protagonist, was a once great pilot who belonged to an evil cult. She ran away after things got a little too chaotic and now resides in a small sector several years later. As is the case with most runaway stories, Nara's past comes crawling back. This is a good, modern space shooter. It has all the trappings from the genre including exhilarating dogfights and plenty of customization options for the ship. It's a beautiful game no matter what system you pick this up on. It's also a unique concept for an open world game filled with tons of quests that, well, felt kind of meaningful and rewarding in more ways than one. The controls are a bit finicky and the combat inside ships and buildings could use some work. It's a little claustrophobic. The story is also not the best because Nara is a bit too creepy for a protagonist and is thus hard to sympathize with. Dungeon Munchies is an action platformer that has very light metroidvania elements and a touch of Monster Hunter. Your hero character wakes up from the dead, only to be rolled into a cooking program led by the demon chef Simmer. The gameplay loop is pretty straightforward. Kill monsters, collect the materials for cooking dishes, and crafting weapons, repeat. Cooking opens up a skill tree that lets you augment your hero with various buffs. These can be equipped, purged, or re-equipped infinitely. It's a funny idea, accompanied by a strange set of enemies and characters. The weapon choices are also very nice. There are a few problems though, the animations are a bit stiff and there is no map in the early bits of the game. This makes exploring a bit tricky. Overall, Dungeon Munchies is a good idea, but a bit uneven. Finally, we have The Gunk. It's from Image and Form, who are known most for their SteamWorld games. As their first new IP in about a decade, how did this interplanetary space adventure go? Well, not as well as I had hoped. You star as Ronnie, who has partnered up with Beck. Together, Lily landed a planet in search of resources only to find it in decay. Ronnie can use her cybernetic arm to suck up the titular gunk, which cleans the planet and brings life back. The effect is similar to Okami, and it's a mechanic that never got old for me. Exploring the foreign planet was also cool, as the game was a chill pace overall. There is combat, but not much in the early get-go. The problem is that the platforming is not solid. You have to plan your jumps perfectly because there is a 0% margin of error. It's also a bit glitchy at launch. Maybe things could be better in a month or two. Right now it is good, but not mind blowing. And that's it for my Missed Games triple feature. But that is not all. Look forward to my best of series of features going up on New Year's Eve and continuing to early 2022. Did you like that video? If you did, please like, subscribe, and spread the good word of Reaction Examiner. If you want to read more of my stuff, you can find a plethora of my articles over at The Gamer and Game Rant. All of those links and more are in the show notes below. Thanks for watching!